tax secrets you didn't know about from Sandy Butkin, who also was a specialist for the IRS. Hi, this is Sandy Bartkin, author of the best-selling book, Lower Your Taxes, Big Time. Over the past 20 years, I have taught thousands of home-based business owners how to save millions on their taxes. I spent three years in the tax department of the international accounting firm Chush Ross, and also five years as a legal specialist in the office of the chief counsel for the Internal Revenue Service. Currently, I'm the CEO of the Tax Reduction Institute. Over the next few minutes, I'm going to explain why you'd be brain dead not to have a home-based business. I believe you will find that this is going to be the most important four minutes of your life when it comes to your financial future. So you may want to take some notes and put aside anything that might distract you. First of all, I want to emphasize something right up front. The rich know something that most people don't know. They have a secret. And the secret is that we have two tax systems in the United States. Now, when I say that, most people think that there's one for the rich and one for the poor. And that's not quite true. There's one to make you rich, and then there's one to make you poor. There's one for employees, which is designed to take your wealth and make you poor because you are taxed on dollar one. And then there's one for self-employed individuals, which is designed to create economic growth. And the reason for that is that small business generates over 70% of the job growth in North America. It is not IBM, it's not Microsoft or American Airlines, it's small business. So Congress passes good tax laws for small business. In fact, the important point is that small business get to take deductions first before they pay any taxes. Unlike employees who have to pay taxes on dollar one. You can save big money by taking advantage of these good tax laws. And these laws are available to you in business, whether it's in full-time in business or part-time or just in your spare time. It doesn't matter as long as you run your business with an honest expectation of profit which means you're really trying to make money. In fact, if you know what you're doing in a small business, you have the potential to write off part of your house, your spouse, the equivalent of your kids' education and weddings. I'm not kidding when I say that, by the way. You can set up a pension plan that makes any government plan seem paltry by comparison. The potential is just enormous. Good proof of this was illustrated by a lady named Jane Bryan Quinn. Jane Bryan Quinn is a nationally syndicated economist. You may have heard of her. She is a nationally known commentator on personal finance, with books and columns read and trusted by millions. She did a study of a couple who made $40,000 a year. And $40,000 did not go that far. So the husband said to the wife, Honey, you got to go out and get a job, which she did. And she made an extra $20,000. Now they're looking at their bank account, and they see no difference at the end of the year. I mean, she's making 20000 more than she made the year before. What's going on? Did you ever hear that you have to have two incomes to make it in this country? Do you know why? You're about to get a six-month financial planning course in the next few minutes. Follow along as I show you why the extra job was the wrong decision. The following example is based on 2009 tax rates. On that $20,000, they have to pay $4,845 in new federal and state taxes. Most of that was non-deductible. They have to pay Social Security of 7.65%. On $20,000, that's $1,530 of Social Security, which is non-deductible. We assume that they drove 10 miles a day round trip. And that's probably pretty conservative, I think. But let's go with that. 10 miles a day round trip. Five days a week, 52 weeks a year at IRS's current 55 cent a mile rate. That's $1,430 of commuting, which is non-deductible. We assume lunch is at work, and we assume that they spent $7 a day. Five days a week, 50 weeks a year. That's $1,750 of lunches, which is non-deductible. We assume that you have to have clothing, better clothing, in fact, if you're working, more upkeep, because now you're working, you're going to have more dry cleaning, and that's gone up by at least 
1,200 hours over not working. And finally, with both spouses working, you think they want to cook? Heck no. They want to eat out. Where their food costs have gone up by at least $2,000. And what about child care? I bet you they spend at least $125 a week in our example. And I'm not sure we can get child care for three kids for $125. But $125 a week, 50 weeks a year, is $6,250 in child care. Most of that is non-deductible. In fact, we get us a little bit of a credit on that. Out of the $20,000 that they've earned from the part-time job, they are only left with a staggering $995 a year. They're putting in tons of hours working. They're putting up with a commute. And they're putting up with a boss that is spelled backwards double S-O-B. You know, I know it sounds funny, but it really isn't. And people are working two jobs, three jobs, and nobody is able to watch the kids. So what's the answer? The answer is to take advantage of the greatest tax write-offs available in America. And that is by having a home-based business and working that business like a business. Nothing can be better than that. Because if you know what you're doing, you can write off, as I mentioned, part of your house, your spouse, the equivalent of your kids' education and weddings. You can set up a pension plan that makes any government plan seem paltry by comparison, and there's much more than just the tax benefits. For example, you get tremendous time freedom. You can work out of your home. You dictate your own hours and not be subject to the boss's whims. If you need to go somewhere or go to your kids basketball games or go to your sons or daughters music lessons or concerts you can do that there's no commute there's no liability or very little liability with home-based businesses you don't have any employees and you can make unlimited income and that's probably the most important factor for having a home-based business there is no glass ceiling of any type Having a home-based business is probably the smartest thing that anyone can do. And what amazes me is that people will work overtime to try to get ahead in a company, when frankly they should be putting in as little time as possible to avoid getting fired and getting a part-time home-based business going. Who knows? Maybe that business will generate enough money where you can quit your job altogether. Wouldn't that be nice? That's the point. Having a home-based business will generate enormous benefits for yourself and your family. It's something you should really consider, and it will make your life a lot less taxing. I would strongly encourage you to carefully evaluate and get started with your own home-based business today. The tax benefits are incredible, but a home business has so much more to offer. Extra income, being your own boss, financial security, setting your own hours, working from the comfort of your home, more time with family, and the list goes on and on. Most importantly, you are working on your dream instead of someone else's. That's the beautiful thing.